Okay, so I just did this entire video tutorial, and then, I don't know what happened, said an unknown error occurred, and I literally just, like, was saving it, and then it got deleted. So, I don't know, I'm kind of annoyed, but that's okay. I'll still do it anyway. So, again, I'm just highlighting uh, the main points of this FRQ. This is 2004 AP Calculus BC Question 5. Um, this is dealing with logistic growth. Um, so, here's the rate we're given. And we're trying to find the limits as it approaches infinity. When is it growing the fastest? Um, find y of t, so this is the rate, so we're going to have to integrate for that. And then again, find the limit. So I did all the work here. Um, pretty much, we're trying to find where the slope is equal to zero. Um, because when you, like, for logistic growth, you start with small growth and exponential, and then there's a carrying capacity where the population cannot grow anymore, and that slope is zero. Um, I explained this way better before, but um, this is the carrying capacity here. So you have to find out when this rate will equal zero. So um, you kind of just like look at this problem and say, okay, how can I make this dp dt equal zero? Well, if you put p equals 12 in here, you get 1 minus 1 equals zero. Zero times uh, 12 over 5 would be zero. So this is pretty much saying what's the carrying capacity. As time goes on forever, uh, what's the carrying capacity? Um, and then you figure out the carrying capacity is 12 if you put 12 in there. All right, um, then here, again, I'm showing the gr graph I just showed you again. When's it growing the fastest? Uh, here, uh, halfway between the carrying capacity and the start of the graph is um, where the growth is the fastest, the max rate. Um, that's just something you kind of have to know. Uh, let's just think of it, yeah, you start slow growth, really high growth, and it slows down, and then um, it levels out to a slope of zero. So pretty much the growth rate is just half of the carrying capacity, which is six. Um, and that's the answer for B. Going on to C, um, pretty much here you have to do separable, like, implicit differentiation, so you get dt. Uh, you multiply both sides by dt to separate those variables. Uh, then you integrate. Um, here I distributed the 5 and the y went over. I distributed the 5 and the y went over here. Um, and then you get the antiderivative would be ln y. And I didn't integrate this yet. So how you get rid of this, how you get rid of ln, well you raise everything to the e. Um, and an simple antiderivative rules. Here, um, don't look at that. Uh, here, um, pretty much antiderivative of 1 over 5 is t over 5. Antiderivative of t over 60 is t squared over 120. Uh, then, pretty much it con converts to this because you're raising everything to the e, so you just get y. Um, and then you have your constant uh, because it's like your plus c, right? When you do antiderivative of a non-definite integral, you get a plus c. Well, the constant could just be moved up front. Um, so, but you're given this initial condition here. So, if you make y of zero, e to the zero is one. So, c times one equals three, and that's what your constant is. And you just plug in the constant, and you get this value here. And that's pretty much it for that um, part D. It's just saying here's what we got for part C. Where's the carrying capacity? Again, this kind of looks like the carrying capacity. Um, I kind of, this one, oops, I don't really have a good explanation. I'm still trying to figure this out myself, but I just look at this, and I don't know why, but I just see zero, because if you kind of like plug in t here, you get zero, infinity minus infinity squared, like 3e to the infinity, I don't know, but I just, th there might be a rule or something where, um, like, e to the infinity, I think I might be wrong, but... Yeah, I don't know, but for some reason it's zero. I'll try to leave something in the comments afterwards and try to figure it out, but if you kind of look at part A here, hopefully you could figure something out and how it relates. Um, but yeah, kind of annoyed that video crashed, but hopefully this still is useful.